Continuing coverage on what's happening today, plus the computer breach in Laverne and the lesson for the rest of us during what is National Cybersecurity Awareness Month as it happens. Joining us now with more on this is retired FBI cybersecurity expert Scott Augenbaum, who also authored a book called The Secret to Cybersecurity. Scott, great to see you. It's been a while. We don't know everything about Laverne yet, but you can't help but wonder if that attack on a city government is another one of these ransomware attacks. Well, all of these attacks that are happening on state and local governments, all are financially motivated. It's either a database, a data breach to steal sensitive information for financial gain, or the cyber criminals are holding the information hostage unless a ransom is paid. I've heard you say before, rule of thumb is you don't pay the hackers. Is that uh, still where you come down on this? I always say we got to think prevention, because even if you do pay the hackers, sometimes you won't get your information back. Could be penalties. What if the bad guys are overseas in a foreign country? And the other thing that's really, really important is if we keep paying these bad guys, they're going to continue. So prevention, prevention, prevention. Well, you mentioned, you know, prevention. Uh, what are the, the things that companies and individuals ought to do in an effort to stop them before they get in? Well, it's important that we realize that a majority of cyber attacks are nothing more than social engineering, tricking us into doing something we normally wouldn't do. Clicking on a link in an email downloads malicious code into an organization, and that could be a ransomware or a data breach, or even a text message that looks like it's coming from someone saying you owe tolls or the IRS or back taxes or robocalls. And through the use of artificial intelligence, these emails, text messages, and telephone calls look amazingly legitimate. So we need to be aware of that. Use two-factor authentication and don't use the same password for multiple platforms. Great advice here. Uh, I think we could talk for another half hour. We're going to have to end it here. Scott Augenbaum, retired FBI agent and cybersecurity expert, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.